What's going on YouTube? I'm here with a particular video that a lot of people has been, you know, asking a lot of questions about when it comes to Midnight Code 3 online that how in the hell am I able to access online servers with other people in different regions and all that on PCSX, whether it's on PS2, on the emulator and all that stuff. So that's what this particular video is. It's very different than what I normally do for any of my videos. So I'm pretty much just gonna get straight to the point uh, with this, you know, obviously with this video and all that, but this isn't really a tutorial. I'm gonna mind you that right now. This is not a, tutor a, a tutorial that what I'm doing. This is not that because I, again, I've already said this multiple times. I suck at explaining things. So without any further ado, I'm just showing y'all my settings that what I have on the emulator. This is on Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix, right? This is on the, the latest version of the nightly PCSX2 emulator which is the 1.7.4344 and all that shit. So this is what I this is what I have for my internet device type and internet device regularly. So on the bottom it says ethernet and pcat bridged. So when it says pcat, it's technically it's technically talking about the MP cap, WinP cap. Um, this is how I'm able to get into alternative servers and joining other people's lobbies. This is what will give you a pretty much a fake VPN, an alternative internet device that you don't really have, that you don't really use on your PC, but this will give you that online access server thingamajigs right here. So all you need is the MP cap and WinP cap shit. So on this website right here, on this link, which I'll put it down in the this into the description on my video and all that and i'm sorry if i keep on slurring up my, my damn words and all that shit like i'm not really trying to it, it just happens i don't know why i slur a lot but whatever anyways this is the website for the mp cap and you have to install the uh 1.73 I think it's either the zip file or the exe version i'm not really sure i i forgot because i'd done this a month or two ago it's pretty much the very first time when i posted my very first online footage of midnight club 3 dub edition and yeah this is practically what i use for my mp cap file which you see right here i think this is the website that where i got it down but the wimpy cap it could be on a different location like a different um link so i'm not really sure where that's at but if y'all could find it i'm pretty sure y'all can but you gotta be very careful when downloading this um stuff for your pc you gotta be very careful with that so here's the thing once you actually download these things onto your pc and all that i already made a folder which is called a pcsx2 online kit that's what i that's the file that i use for it and um once after you install this on your pc once after it's, it, it's installed onto your computer make sure you turn off your pc completely wait three seconds and then turn on your pc again i don't know why but when when you download it and then install it and not restart your PC, it will not work. It just won't. Once it's installed onto your PC, you're going to get access to different VPN servers. Oh, and that's another thing too. So this is what I was trying to look for was the command prompt. So what you need in order to do the, um, the PCSX2 subnet mask and gateway address, you I think honestly, it's very, 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 very beneficial that you would put your IPv4 address, which is the code right here. I have mine blurred out because you know it's, it's pretty much an IP address and all that stuff. But I guess that's my own very reasons itself that, you know, that's my reason. So I'm just gonna blur it out. And the subnet mask as well, you need to put those same exact codes the numbers dot another number dot another number like just pretty much put the same exact code onto your emulator right here for your subnet mask and your gateway address i'm pretty sure this is going to be extremely extremely beneficial to help you get online access as well if you put on these settings as well and, and uh yeah i just wanted to cut that in there just for a brief moment and then the ps2 address as well which i personally forgot where i got this code from and this is what i use i think that should go for the same thing for everyone else if they're putting in this code trying to access online servers if you're trying to play midnight club 3 just in general so yeah this is pretty much what i have mp cap and wimpy cap is the things that i use to give me online access on that shit. And I will put this down on the description on my video, especially for this website right here. I'm not sure about the wimpy cap because I couldn't find that anywhere, but 
If I find it, then I'll put it down. But if I can't, then I'm sure it's it's definitely out there. You just have to look. Because mind you, I did all this by myself. This took me two months to figure out until recently when I finally did post some content of some online footage. Then yeah, it's it's all here, bro. But this is pretty much what I'm running for my emulator settings. You know what I'm saying? Like again, I, I really do suck at explaining shit. So I hope this will somewhat help you in some sort of way. I hope so this is pretty much it right here i have my device on that for mp cap bridge it could be switch it could be tap it could be sockets it could be one of these i'm not saying this particular thing could work out for you but it's working out for me it, this could be different for anybody else so don't you know i don't think this is going to be entirely going to be meant for everybody so just try to toy around with this thing you can even put it on ethernet too just whatever works out for y'all and if it works just make sure that it stays like that, okay? That's all I gotta say. But again, one last time. Once this is installed, restart your PC. I'm telling you, if you restart it after this is installed, like a lot of good things are gonna happen. Trust me, it's just gonna happen. But hopefully, yep, hopefully this is gonna be some sort of help for y'all that why I'm able to access online service from Nightclub 3. And uh, yeah, again, I do suck at explaining things, but hopefully this was a very helpful video in some sort of way. I got the link right here. I showed y'all my settings for my PCSX2 and all that for internets and shit like that. But uh, yeah, I will post another video Video of some need for speed most wanted on monday i got you on that and i will do a live stream on friday night around six or seven o'clock my time at cst standard time or whatever the fuck is called and uh yeah man i will catch you on the flip side bro y'all take it easy